Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, if you've never been here before, my name is Shalice and I make videos about nursing, the military life, and lifestyle stuff. Today we're going to do a nursing haul slash nursing essentials. I'll show you what I used last semester and the new stuff that I bought this semester. Um, so if you are interested in seeing what I like to use for clinical and for classroom, just go ahead and um, keep watching this video and if you could please do me a favor and go ahead and click down below and subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up So I'm going to start with the nursing haul that I did. I got everything from Amazon um, Some of the things I already had so this is brand new. This is to hold your stethoscope I'll link everything from Amazon below um, this is the stethoscope holder. I used to have everything free floating in my bag and I'm scared that my stethoscope is gonna break or something. But this is the Litmint Classic 3. And then some scissors. You never know when you're gonna need some scissors. Um, you always need scissors. Um, I used to be like, that's so dumb, but like why do we need scissors obviously unless you're doing wounds but also there's like some transdermal patches that you could put on and they're so hard to open on your own you need scissors and you just really never know and then I have a pen light all of this I got on Amazon um, so what's new for this semester is just the stethoscope holder so I'll put that in my clinical bag um, and then it'll stay there since um, for clinicals it's we're gonna be strictly at the hospital this year not so much skills lab I got this little cute badge holder and it's retractable and then I got this type of clip because I like this better than the ones that slide on it's just a ladybug I wore today today was my first day of class I wore today and it was kind of heavy but I like it it is big though I got these little notebooks um, for clinical, it's really good to have small little notebooks when you open them so you can see them. Where you can keep like notes instantly on your patient. Oh god. Can I open this? Can I open it? Um, so these are the notebooks. I just bought 12 packs so that should last me until the end of the um, program. And these, this is what it looks like inside. And it says it's a 60 page and so you could go into your patient's room take their vitals um, anything that they say or if you're doing your head-to-toe assessment you could write down little notes here if you see anything abnormal that you want to chart you could write it here um, any like med like medicine tips that you like to keep around you can leave there I got those on Amazon also I got this sharpie it comes with a pack of four so it came with four of these single packages and if you can't see it has like a little um, hook and I'm going to be putting that on my badge holder so it's a little easier to um, carry around a permanent marker once you get to clinical you have like 50 things in your pocket and the last thing you want to do is also worry about looking for a sharpie in your pocket once you have this on you could just pull it down and use a sharpie or I think it's yeah and then you could unhook it from it and use it same thing with the highlighter um, we mainly use yellow so that's the one I'm gonna mainly use they didn't sell a, all yellow packets sadly um, speaking off of those um, you also maybe if you're in the first level um, want just a regular highlighter for clinical a lot of people like to highlight the meds they're gonna give on that shift um, and if there are any special meds or anything I also got a passion planner I talked about this in my last video about how to stay organized this is the really big one I didn't think it was gonna be this big but it's okay um, this is what it looks like so this is what it looks like. This is the monthly. So for the monthly, I'll put in just my exam so I can see it as an overview how my month is going to be. And I'll also write down things. So here right now, I just have like my two orientations that I'm going to be taking and um, uh, our IV checkoff and dosage checkoff. Our school makes you do a dosage checkoff every um, semester, which I think is cool. And then this is what the regular... Um, 
day to day or week looks like it's just it goes from 6 a.m. to 10:30 p.m. and then it has little um, like motivating things like uh, priority things, personal things to do, work things to do, and then little note space. Here I have my schedule before so I can memorize it. And then I really love that it has this because then you could keep what day you're on. And then it also has this little um, elastic so you could close it tight because sometimes planners get to get bulky. Um, this semester I'm trying something new. So um, I'm trying to take my notes on an iPad so this is an iPad Pro I think it's um, 2017 or 18 can't remember but I did buy this um, cover on Amazon and you could stick the Apple pencil right here but I have this little rubber on it so it doesn't fit but it's okay take notes this semester on my iPad um, and the app I really like um, so far on day one right is notability because um, I could put all my PDFs here, um, I could write on it, and then with the Apple Pencil, it doesn't move, it feels like you're writing on pen, on a paper, you could add paper, it's really cool, you could do a lot of different things, I like it, so far. Um, let's see, I think that's, I bought two pairs of scrubs, and then, I think that's it from Amazon for this second semester. I didn't need that much because a lot of the things that we're going to be doing um, are needing. I already had from last semester, so I didn't really need to get that much, so that's nice. I always have a binder, even though I'm gonna do everything with my iPad, I want to have a binder always with me. I'm gonna make a cover sheet for it. Um, and what I'll just do is, I haven't organized it yet, is um, I'll have syllabus, the schedules, they always give us calendars, and what I do with the calendars is everything that's on the calendar, I put on my planner on the monthly, and then every week I'll transfer what's on the monthly um, calendar onto the weekly, if that makes sense. That way I know what's going on at all times, and I don't have to be going back and forth to the schedule. I have a note section just in case I need to print anything, and then homework and scrap paper. And then, um, that's pretty much it. For clinical, the things that I love and the essentials that I think are important are, of course, what I already talked about, the stethoscope, the scissors, the pen light, and this nice little case, the notepads, of course, and then a clinical bag. Last semester, they gave us a bag similar to this, but it had our school logo. It wasn't leather. It was um, just regular um, material. And it came with a bunch of like IV stuff, um, PPE things, wound um, cleaning, dressing changing things, a bunch of stuff just so we could practice at home. Um, everything was either expired or um, new. And it was nice to practice at home. The medicines, the practice files and everything were just like water or saline. Um, so essentials for me for clinical days would definitely be chapstick. A notebook um, last semester we had to take manual vitals for everything so I have a blood pressure cuff I got this on Amazon they're really inexpensive um, an Apple watch or a regular watch you want to have a watch so you could take um, vitals so for the Apple watch I would put it on this face right here I hope you can see it and with that face, you could start a timer, and, or, and then that'll show the second hand on the whole clock, and then you could count and decide when the 30 seconds to start, and that's what I would do. If not, you could always get a manual watch. I've thought about getting a manual watch because if you go into a patient's room that is on um, isolation, some type of isolation, the last thing you want to do is take your Apple Watch in there. Sometimes you can't even go in um, without PPE so why would you take your Apple watch in there you know it'd be cool to have an extra one I might invest in just like an $8 one from Walmart something easy a clipboard um, I have some stuff from last semester in the clipboard I would put all my clinical documents and then I would also put um, 
like a little notepad and there I would take more detailed notes if I needed to. I we took this around um, with us with our patients almost all day because we couldn't have our clinical bag with us and this is nice to put things in so you don't have to have like a million things in your hand. Hand sanitizer, a must, it's almost on everything and of course pens and pens we don't really use pencils we use a lot of black pens that's mainly what we use um and then lastly the one thing you never want to forget at least in our program is a calculator a simple one dollar calculator from the walmart section that's it nothing too fancy and that's pretty much all I bring with me to class or clinical. I'm really simple. The things I have to have to need for clinical or for um, class would be my planner, wherever I'm going to take my notes, um, water, a snack, um, and then like a pen or pencil and a highlighter. I highlight everything and anything. I'm a note taker freak. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful and I will link all the things from Amazon or wherever I got them down below. This clinical bag is also from Amazon and then I have another hand sanitizer here from Bath and Body Works. As long as it's alcohol based, it's pretty much good as as it as long as it's alcohol based, it is fine to use. Um but yeah. I was editing this video and I realized there were some other essentials that I left out and I don't know how because I picked up my iPad clearly. But they are some apps that I really like to use either on my phone or on my iPad. And the first one is this one. It's called Davis Drug Guide. And if you open it, um, you have to pay, like you could pay for this book in person or you could get the app. Personally, I think the app is better because if you're going to clinicals, it's easier to whip out your phone really quick in the med room. Look up um, whatever drug you're going to use in the Davis um, drug guide and then put it away rather than carrying a book and reading um, and going through. So you're just going to open it up and then you're going to go to comprehensive index. There's a whole, a whole bunch of different things and we're just going to click on metformin because that's the last thing I searched. And then once you open that, you're going to see a bunch of cool different things that um, you're going to need to know. So just general information, any other trade names it might have. Um, so our Omni doesn't always have um, the common names that will go by the trade name so that's good it gives you the indications the actions the therapeutic effects um, the contra in indications and the precautions it also tells you like the adverse reactions and side effects the most common ones and it'll, it all has like a different way to edit things based on if it's common or not or rare um, any drug interactions, route, dose, um, what dose is normal for like kids or adults, um, also for ages, um, how the drug comes, any nursing implement implications, what assessments you should be doing before you give it, what you need to watch for, what labs to consider, um, potential nursing diagnosis, implementations, um, teachings that you might need to teach the patient or their family, and that's pretty much it. Really enjoy is labs. You also have to pay for this, but it's like a one-time fee. You could put anything you want in it, and it tells you what's normal, um, or what's regular, not normal, regular. Um, so let's say you want to know um your patient's bun if it is in ratio or not so it'll tell you it's typically 7 to 20 all facilities are different usually it marks about one to two difference like a one percent difference at all facilities but usually they're the same so just um, gauge it on your facility but I don't really do the lab value itself I'll just do if it's decreased what that may indicate and if it's increased what that may indicate that helps a lot especially with fluid and electrolytes so sodium and then you want to do serum and then same thing um decreased values may indicate like adrenal in insufficiency psoriasis congestive heart failure heavy sweating exercise etc and then increase might be like cushing syndrome dehydration 
etc. I really enjoy that app. Um, and then obviously like my ebook app is really nice. Uh, that's the book from last semester. This one's from this semester. And then, yeah, those are the two apps I really enjoy that I really wanted to tell you guys about. So that's going to be it for my nursing haul and my nursing essentials. If you guys think that I am missing anything to take to clinicals or to class, let me know. Leave it in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe. Bye.